welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about how to clean and organize your purse. We found love here. So a few months back I actually shared a video on what was in my purse and I also shared the fact that it was an old purse and it is full leather. Whenever I get a pocketbook, which is what I call them, if you call them purse, handbag, whatever, I typically call it a pocketbook. But when I get one, I like to make sure that it's going to last me. So I really personally just like to stick with leather bags. So when Teddy Blake reached out to me, I had already seen about a hundred million videos on YouTube about a Teddy Blake bag and I thought they were stunning. And I love the fact that they are leather and they're hand made in Italy. Hmm. So today's video is going to be sponsored by Teddy Blake. I am so excited about this, guys. I took a photo and put it on my Instagram as soon as I got this bag on the front porch. It was mailed, I knew it was here, and I got it. I watched the mail lady walk up to the front yard and I was like, come on, come on. So excited. So I was carrying a chocolate brown bag and I wanted a black bag. I had just recently thrown out my black bag. It was at the end of its life and it was huge. I go through stages. I feel like I get a big bag and then a small bag. Like there's no happy medium. So this time I'm still in the small bag area of life, I guess. But in this video, I want to show you how I organize it because I did actually purchase a organizer to go inside of it. I found it online and I'm going to share all of that. So I wanted to show you how I organize that because it is set up differently than my old fossil bag. And I'm also going to show you how to clean a leather bag. So since this is a new bag, it does not need to be cleaned. It is not dirty whatsoever. We're going to go in and clean my old bag. And if you're interested in seeing what was inside of that bag and how I had it all laid out, I will have have linked above that what was in my purse video so you can see this fossil bag in all of its glory. So we are going to be cleaning this bag and I looked all over online just to make sure that before I went in and cleaned this bag this was going to be something that wasn't going to ruin anything. Now disclaimer if your bag is really nasty and if you have a stain on it maybe an ink stain or um, a wine stain or something I suggest taking it to get it professionally cleaned and not trying to do it yourself because if you've spent a lot of money on your bag, don't ruin it because you'll end up spending even more and possibly trying to fix it or having to replace the bag. So if it's something horrible, don't <laughs> don't try to fix it yourself. I take really good care of my bags. I've had this bag since 2015 and it looks just like it did when I first got it. What I'm going to do is going to be called cleaning and conditioning. And this is just going to treat your leather, give it a nice cleaning, but also it's just going to give it a nice conditioning because it is leather. So it needs to be just, you know, kept up a little bit more. So we're going to do that. And to make this little concoction we're going to make to clean and condition this bag, we're going to need some extra virgin olive oil, some white distilled vinegar, and also some essential oil. If you don't have essential oil, that is sort of optional, but citrus oil, I feel like it's just gonna be the best. So if you want the exact recipe, like down to the measurements and everything, I'll have that down below in the description box. But it's just gonna be equal parts of each of those and just a few drops of the essential oil. And we're just gonna take a paper towel and we're just gonna dab it into that mixture that we've mixed up really well. And we're just going to go over the bag. And then once you have that rubbed on, you're gonna just take a clean paper towel and wipe off any of the excess mixture off of the bag and just give it a good cleaning. Guys, wait till you see how nice and shiny this bag looks. I'm probably also gonna do my wallet. As much as we spend on these bags, we need to take care of them. So while you're not um, carrying it around, make sure you have a dust bag to go on it or just make sure it's hidden away from the air and the dust that flows around in our houses so take care of these bags if you want to spend that much money on a bag you should spend that much time in trying to take care of it as well so now we're going to talk about organizing the bag inside of the bag there is a place there are two little pockets and a zipper that you can organize some stuff in but i just felt like this was just going to be the easiest way to interchange between bags so this little organizing case fits right inside of the bag it's actually the perfect size i would imagine that it would be a little bit easier accessible in a larger bag 
um, but for me I think it's perfect I love the fact that it has all of these different compartments also that it has the expandable sides to make it even larger to fit even more in it so if you do have a larger bag this will work as well but literally everything fits in here and I'm just going to give you a breakdown of what all I have in it so on this side with the larger pockets I just stuck some ink pens right there for easy access and then behind that some feminine products because you never know honey you just never know and then over to the right of that, we have some hygiene and beauty products. I have some perfume, some lip stuff. So we have some lip gloss, some chapstick, some hand sanitizer, and the scent Beautiful Day. That's one of my favorites. And then behind that, I have a little tape measure because I am on the hunt for an office chair. I'm always measuring when I see one in the store. I'm looking to see, hey, will this fit in my office? Will this go underneath my desk? So I'm always on the hunt. So I think that's just a little nifty thing to keep in my bag. We have some Altoid small peppermint mints. Then behind that in the first zipper, I keep my new wallet that I just got from TJ Maxx. I needed a black one with gold hardware to match my new bags. Then behind that in the very, very large compartment in the middle, I keep my pistol, my handgun. You guys know that if you watch my what's in my purse that I do conceal carry. So if it is allowed in the place that I'm going, I will have that. If not, then it will be locked away in whatever vehicle I'm driving. So I always have that. Then behind that, we have another zipper that you can put something in. I don't have anything in there, but I will probably stick any extra receipts or any kind of paperwork that I have that I just need to stick in a certain place. That will probably be the designated area for those. And then on the back side, we have the smaller little areas. And in the first one, I just have some tied to go and a little mini stick there. And then behind that, I have the Shout Wipe and Go little textured wipes there. Next to that, I have my little essential oil roller balls. I have the allergy and also the headache. If you're interested in seeing how I made these because I did DIY those, I will have a video linked up above and it's all about essential oils and some DIYs that I shared with you guys so you can see how I actually made those. Next to that, I just keep some business cards. These are just for my freelance hair and makeup business. And then next to that, I keep some hair serum. This is the Verb Ghost Oil just because it is summer now and it's humid and I'm in the south. It's humid here guys and the hair frizz is real. So just to make sure I keep a handle on that, I keep some serum and I really like that one. So I keep that in my bag. And then behind that in the little last compartment there, I just keep a little wipe for my shades, my reading glasses, my glasses, whatever I have. I just keep that back there just to keep everything nice and fingerprint free. So now if you want to know some more about the bag, let's jump on into that. These are handmade bags in Italy and they're sent over to Teddy Blake's headquarters in New York and then they're sent out to the customer. So I love it. The bag is just so high quality. I mean, it feels like money. <laughs> I love it. I'm obsessed with the gold hardware. I knew I had to have the gold hardware. I wanted to have something that was small enough to carry with a shoulder strap because I do like to cross body carry most of, if not all of my bags. It's just the easiest for me. I love the hardware on it. I love that it comes with a little lock and key. So you can actually just put the little handles right back on the front of there and you can lock it. I love the fact that it has the little feet on the bottom because who wants to sit their fancy bag on the nasty floor? So the fact that it has the little feet to just levitate it just enough off the floor, I think is amazing. They have a lot of different styles online. Like I said, I will have a discount code linked down below. Also the link to this exact bag if you're interested in this bag. They have a bunch of different colors. They also have the silver hardware and they have a black on black bag. So if you like the black hardware with the black bag, that one's cute too. If you want to see some more organizing videos, give this video a thumbs up. Also comment down below if you have questions on how to organize something in your home. So if you have something that you would like to see me do in the future in another video, Comment down below and let me know what you would like to see and I will add it to my forever wrong list of things that need to be organized. Also, if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please consider doing that before you leave. I do a lot of cleaning and organizing, home related things, lifestyle, whatever. I do it all over here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope you have a beautiful and blessed day and thanks for watching. Bye guys. We found love here. Yeah.